Hello everybody, this is Rama Joey here with more light two. And I can't open this door. Okay. I'm forgetting my buttons, because I'm stupid. I'm real hit with ladies. Let's see if we can be Oh shit. Well fuck. I have no special skills. I'm not special. Well. Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Shit. <sighs> Bedtime. Oh, my clothes. It's not hot, so whatever. Good night, me. Up already. Okay, can't talk with him. He's kind of, he's a kind of creepy. Oh, that's not good. Is that a dead guy? Uh, I gotta call someone. Is he dead? No, not dead. He's just knocked out. Neck shows signs of a strangling. What now? Well, it's the dead of the night. The manager and everyone's probably sleeping. Since he's not dead, we don't really need to hurry to tell them anything. Really? Why not? If we leave him here, whoever crucified him might come back to finish him off. Guess we'll keep him in our room till morning. I'll carry him. And grab his necktie. Okay. Sleepy. <laughs> Sleepy! <laughs> Let's find the manager and report this to her. She slept by him all night? Poker. Uh, that's my cake! Better not wake her. Sounds like she's having a blast. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Manager, manager, manager. Is manager here? Nope. Okay. Wait. Is this room open? Nope. Okay. Fine. Up. There she is. Yes? Um, I want to talk. See you last night. I see. It happened again. Again? Similar things have happened several times before. But the man does have a certain personality at all. Um, after all. At all. One could call it karma. First things first, we'll ask him for details directly. Of course, Mr. Lucas is sleeping in my room. Understood. I'll go ahead and wake Lucas up. He's asleep. Okay. What about you? Do you have anything interesting to say? Rising sun, shine, newcomer. Have a nice rest. Things certainly got rough yesterday. I can't believe you calmed that giant customer down so easily. What did you even say to him? Oh, I just told him not to trouble the other customers. With a knife held to his back, but I guess I concealed it well. Morning. Good morning, Mr. Lucas. So, do you know who put you up on that cross? Oh, I don't know about that. I can't remember. I just vaguely recall being strangled, maybe. As I thought. You did say this had happened before. 
Oh, Sophie, dear, you told this punk about it? Lucas, must I remind you not to call me that? Oh, right, right. I know, I just let it slip. Don't get mad. Is this the third time being strangled and crucified? It's the fifth. See, I can't remember nothing. We're going to contact the police this time. Hey now, Miss Manager, it's not like I'm hurt or nothing. No need to do that. Never contacted anyone about this before? Well, Lucas getting stabbed and strangled is almost an everyday occurrence. We were never particularly worried, but the same incident repeating is something new. And it will be too late to look into once he's died from it. Don't talk like that, I'm right here, you know! Well then, I'll place the call. We'll be closing the resort for today. Take the day off. Maybe I should talk with them again. Sure can play the part of somebody or not, huh? What? Oh, think nothing of it. Just found it funny. You don't remember a thing all the times this has happened? Just like I told you, that part of my memory is just gone. Wonder who's the culprit? I wonder too. Got no ideas. Or actually, we're like there's way too many candidates to narrow it down. I'm a real sinful guy. Then you ought to take the punishment. Don't go talking like Sophie now. But yeah, I don't think you're gonna get much useful out info out of me. I've never been able to remember nothing, all the other times. I see. What, you're gonna say you're actually a detective or something now? There's always... There always has to be a liar in these situations. And that runt there eats them. This'll take a week, tops. Oh, I see. I was wondering about that. Kid seems real fond of you, but how about you? If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't be leading her around everywhere. Hmm. What? Oh, just looked like you were enjoying yourself. Oh, really? Still, feeling a little sluggish, so I'll be going to my room. I think you ought to take care of yourself a little more first. So long. Good luck! Let's take some notes. Oh, I left my memo book in my old clothes. Let's see, what can I write on? These tissues should do the job for now. Alright, time to talk to the others. Okay. Nobody? Okay. Fine. Seems as though things are getting serious. I'd like to ask you if you know anything about this matter. Oh, did someone ask you to do so? Yes, she said it could be awful for Mi Mr. Lucas if this continues. The resort is closed for today, so she asked me to assist. Ah, I see. I'm terribly sorry you got wrapped up in all of this after just arriving. But I need to attend to other things at the moment. Could you come back a little later? Yes, ma'am. Sorry to disturb your work. Okay. What is it? We're closed for today, so you can head out into town to shop if you like. No, I'm fine. Actually, I was wondering if you knew anything about Mr. Lucas. About Lucas? Hmm. I'm sure you've already become fairly aware of his womanizing habits. He's always been this way. It's gotten him stabbed and whatnot too many times to count. Crucifixion is too good for... Mm -hmm. Um... It's almost comical how beyond fixing he is. There's... And there's a woman he's dating right now as well. Someone he's dating? Would that woman be... Our own employee, Olivia. The snake woman in the red dress, you know. The big dresser girl, huh? Um, are Mr. Lucas and Miss Olivia getting on well? Well, Olivia is a jealous sort. She's displeased to see him with other women. So long as she's looking, Lucas must not mingle too much with other girls. But as far as I can remember, they haven't gotten into any especially big fights. I see. Thank you so much. I do hope this can all be resolved. 
I know. I'll do what I can to assist. I apologize for getting you involved in this so immediately. Tell me if anything comes up. Yes, ma'am. In a relationship with Olivia, feels like I'm starting to see the crux of all this. But there are still things I don't know. I'll ask her directly. Bip, bip. Bip, bip. Yes? Excuse me, I wanted to talk for a bit. Oh, now is fine, if I can assist you any. Um, I was told that you and Mr. Lucas are dating, is this true? My, so you've heard. Yes, it's true, I've been dating him for a few years now. Mr. Lucas is quite the womanizer, isn't he? Yes, yes he is, but I can't put too much blame on him. Because that's just part of who he is. Were you doing anything last night? No, as soon as work was done, I went straight to bed. At least I think so. It has me worried how everyone is saying they're missing memories. It's been happening often? Yes, especially recently. Even a few guests have said they've lost memories. When did this start? These things became quite frequent when, around the time that boy showed up. Though some customers have started coming explicitly to forget their troubles. Ah, I see. Is there anything else you want to ask? No, no, I'm fine for now. Oh. You come back any time. You come back to ask any time. Thank you. Okay. This is starting to get kind of complicated. It would be really bad to have my own memories taken while I'm investigating. Damn it, I can just feel it. This is gonna be a pain. Okay. Well, either way, I'm going to leave this episode off here to Elfie, Effie, Elfie, <laughs> Effie waking up. So either way, this is where I'm Joey signing off. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, bye. This bottle is, this bottle is, I, I gotta go to search. Yes, anyway, listen, this crest on the bottle is, if my theory is correct, crest is in the shape of the tail of the rainbow red that only really comes out by moonlight, namely I, I gotta go in circus! Among those ancient rituals is, and the curve of the handle is, foretold by this shoelace weaver with the power, with the proper harmonics, all you need is a little garlic at 200 degrees for an hour No wait, let me, then yes, no no, there's a quantity physics Yeah, but